All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're diving back into the Oberon Variety Pack. This one is the outlier in the pack, and let me tell you why. It's not 5.8%. It's clocking in at 7.5% ABV, and this is the Oberon Citrus. Ale with lemon and orange zest. Clearly, we already know Oberon to have that lemon and kind of orange integrated into the recipe. Well, this one's even deeper. We're diving even deeper into the citrus category. Again, seems like there's more malt driven into this since it's seven and a half percent. The only one in the pack that's higher than that 5.8 standard ABV. So, canned on date. 426, today's May 18th. Time of recording, really cool pack. I think these are gonna do exceptionally well in the Michigan market. I'm not sure how far and wide they'll distribute them, but I know they're pretty limited. Um, I'm super excited to try them with you guys. Oberon, very famous. Well, citrus, let's dive in. Pour Michigan glassware, you can get it if you contact me, I'll get you some. So, as we pour, instead of being a darker malty orange, this is hugging that yellow lemon end of the spectrum as it starts with lemon. Okay, so like I was saying, this is like a shade lighter. It's a different color spectrum going on here, guys. It's yellow rather than that malty, dark, orange, amber looking beer. Uh, kind of a little bit of particulate suspended in that beer, guys. It looks very nice as a wheat, but again, different variant than we're used to seeing out of Oberon and Bells. So let's go to an aroma. A little bit of that belgian -y, ester -y funk, a little bit of clove, um, slight banana. But this is, again, the American version of the Belgian. It's a wheat beer. It's not supposed to be that heavy, clovey, uh, belgian -y yeast strain. It's not really what they're known for. I know people mistake them very often in America, but this is the American version of the Belgian. It's, the, it's their wheat beer, so it, it, it smells zesty. There is some lemon peel, lemon skin. Orange zest, a little bit of soft juiciness coming from that as well. But it smells still pretty light and refreshing while being a higher octane Oberon than we're used to. Uh, let's dive in, guys. It is the Citrus Oberon. Cheers. Hmm. Wow. A lot of lemon, like lemon peel, lemon zest. Actually, lemon juice kind of integrated into the beer as well. It's got that kind of heavier body. I wouldn't say it's like uh, syrupy or anything, but it's heading into that direction. The citrus is very heavy. The lemon zest, very heavy. Uh, slight tartness coming from the citrus as well. And then it does have that orange pithy uh, kind of rindy quality that we do know Oberon to have, but this is taking it a step further. This is like an orange zest with uh, a, a lemon explosion going on uh, on top of your normal Oberon. But the cherry version in the pack tasted a lot like regular Oberon. This one's not so much. Like I would know that they're two different beers. I would distinguish them differently, um, but still pretty refreshing on the back end. I like citrus, so this is like a citrus bomb in your mouth. It's almost like a hair perfumey. I don't. I don't want to say it's necessarily a bad thing, uh, but it, it's it's almost like pine saw in a way. And I, I, I'm trying not to be disrespectful, uh, but maybe with the higher malt driven in here, that higher ABV, it's bringing that kind of a little bit higher octane feel to this beer. Uh, maybe not so crushable as the standard Oberon. It's just, it's got that heavier body to it. And again, a little bit of that pine saw mixed in it. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I just mean that that's a, a note I'm picking up on. But again, a lot of orange zest, orange peel, a little bit of juice off a of navel orange, a little bit of lemon juice from a from a tart kind of perspective, and then lemon zest and lemon peel, pith, uh, skin, all kinds of dryness going on in there. But again, a little bit of subtle sweetness because of the malt, the malt driven into this beer. A little bit of that higher octane action going on. I will say, still smooth through the middle, that wheat mouthfeel. A dash of that Belgian vibe, again, maybe attributed to that higher octane. I'm, you know, Belgian beers usually higher ABV. It does have that, but it's 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 just more focused on the citrus aspect rather than the yeast strain, if you will. So not as clovey, not as banana-y as I thought, 
but it still has that subtle quality in that beer. Um, but boy, seven and a half percent, it does go down relatively well, but you can feel that it's got that bigger body. It's, it's like I said, approaching syrupy. It's not, but it's, it's below that threshold with still being uh, moderately drinkable in a good way. Yeah, you can feel it though. It it's a citrus bomb, man. It, it's good. It's got a lot of action going on. So as for rating, seven and a half percent, going down pretty well. Uh, let's go with a three eight out of five. I don't know if it's like something I'd always want to go back and revisit, but it's awesome. It's it's a different variant of Oberon, um, and I think it's still quality in this beer. And it's a different angle on Oberon that we don't typically see. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna set three eight out of five, guys. Uh, it's been the Oberon Citrus Ale with lemon and orange zest. Thank you for being here. Over and out. Cheers.